at some point soon, you're gonna have a property that's worth $6 million. If it was all fixed up yeah, and yeah. we just kept it the way it is right now, I would be at about 20 to 25. How can I just take $100,000 and build my portfolio to $50 million? What we really want in life is purpose. And so yeah. you come in here and you go, man, I don't want all the experiences and the things I've gone through to go to waste. I wanna be able to put them to work and help other people have a good experience every single day. And that, for you, provides emotional income, which Correct. is actually in some ways more valuable than the financial income. Yeah. How can I use my hard work and what I know from all my education of educating myself and gathering the information to improve this property, to leverage? To leverage. At some point soon, you're going to have a property that's worth $6 million. What would you say is the net cash flow on a monthly basis right now? So right now, if, it, if you take out the CapEx. Because you're using a lot of the cash flow right now to continue. Yeah, to put, pushing everything into it. If it was all fixed up yeah, yeah. and we just kept it the way it is right now. Yes, exactly. I would be at about 20 to 25. Okay, so 20. After, that's after paying my mortgage. Okay, after you're paying your mortgage, your team, your electrical, like that's your net 20 Every, grand a month. Everything. Okay, great. Now you're a smart operator, you're like me, where you're sitting here going, I'm gonna take that money and I'm gonna reinvest it, reinvest it, reinvest it, reinvest it. Whereas most people probably, and this is no shame on them, they would look at this property and go 20 grand a month, I'm quitting my job, I'm, I'm chilling and I'm good. And that's no. the trap they fall into with thinking it's mailbox money, that, that you have it in, and they forget to calculate out that you have the constant maintenance, the constant everything. And there's a second point of constantly upgrading that seems to uh, excite customers too. That, oh man, these guys have been just doing stuff all the time. They tell their friends like, oh, I had a good time there. The man, they were doing even more work. It, people talk like that. And that's a big part of it. Mailbox money doesn't work. Mailbox money is what leads to the failure. Yeah, mailbox money requires work. In fact, ironically, you have to move your mailboxes on this property to continue to cash flow. So the issue with these owners, like I said, it all starts with lack of vision. I look at it like, how can I just live off of what I need right now? Right. $100,000, okay? So me and my wife, if we bring in $100,000, we can cover everything. We can go on trips, we can do this and that. How can I just take $100,000 and build my portfolio to $50 million? Yes, and, and then also expand opportunity for your team and right. continually give raises as the, exactly. as the as the operating income continues to grow. What matters to me more than, you know, me making a half million dollars a year, like me personally. It's taking care is, of people. Well, how how can I get Jim to the next level? How can I get Maddie to the next level? Right. How right. can I improve their lives? And Nick has been very supportive of me having my own rent care businesses. He's been helping me go to the next level and understanding how to do that. That's actually one of the questions I was going to ask is how does uh, Nick take care of a gym? So yeah, the back and forth. There. So there's two big things that Nick does for me. Nick teaches me some stuff about business I don't understand and Nick helps me a lot with interpersonal skills. I'm very technical. I'm very good at the technical. I often get lost in interpersonal skills. So if we have to go to, to a customer and deliver bad news, we have, we have a meeting first and Nick helps me adjust my delivery so that the customer takes it the best way. And we have, I would say twice a week talks about those type of interpersonal skills. That's what I, that's my week. So Jim, Jim's a jelly. It's you know, jelly's messy and everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm the peanut butter. I smooth it. Oh, I love it. Sure. Yeah, you keep, the jelly would run all over the bread if, if the peanut butter right. isn't there to make. Yeah. Right. The other thing is you have purpose here, right? Like all these years of experience that you've had, a good old boy like yourself, good old boy like Nick, good old boy like me, what we really want in life is purpose. Correct. And so you come in here and you go, man, I don't want all the experiences and the things I've gone through to go to waste. I want to be able to put them to work and help other people have a good experience every single day. And that for you provides emotional income which is actually in some ways more valuable than the, the financial income. Uh, that's absolutely. exactly it. That, and we've talked actually absolutely like that. I mean, that means you guys both had good parents like my parents that just taught you and raised you the right way to, yeah. to love on other human beings. And the good thing is that you have financial rewards come to you because you guys are taking care of those things. The other thing it sounds like is that Nick encourages you to operate another business that you're passionate about. Correct. And helps me get to the next level and where that may become one day in fact. Here's a third one that I'm noticing about Nick and your guys' relationship is that Nick is also, as he's expanding this vision on this park, he's also expanding a vision of how to best utilize your skills. Bro, you're a historian. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who knows Who knows what that waterway is for in the channel? You know all the freaking animals that are in there. So as we expand more opportunities for myself, per se, to break off of and we go forward, and we absolutely talk about We always talk about that. If we expand to a 400-site campsite, we're almost going to need a golf cart rental service, but that could be my job. Yeah, that's okay. A small one, not, that's a small enough thing. He could help me with financing, but that's a, you need 80000 a cash yeah. to get inventory. 
But then that's a constant producer. It's a minimal, and it doesn't pull me off of still being his primary guy. You're essentially, it's called alignment. You know, this is another thing Jamil, yeah. Jamil talked about. about that this morning, yes, sir. You get people to align with your vision, and you make sure that they've got, you're aligned with theirs as well, and you guys will g travel this path, and this walkway becomes paved, and you guys can go on that pathway together rather than deviating and you're not sitting here trying to hog the money you're saying yeah. hey i'm reinvesting all this for both of us really in I essence i just want to make more partners right yeah i want to take people with me or or maybe i want to latch on to pace and say hey pace what we got going on man let's, right. let's do something let's work together how can we improve each other's life yeah man and same thing with jim i'll, I'll be i'll be your huckleberry yeah <laughs> exactly Wow, man. What a great time you guys spent with us. This is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to tell you guys, Jim was nervous about being on camera. If you guys got value from Jim and Nick today, give us some love and some support in the comments. First and foremost, how do we find this RV park so when people are traveling through here, they can choose you over other people and support you guys? So, Saw by You Campground with a K. Just Google it. Everything, everything's about Google. Campground on Old Spanish Trail in Friday, Louisiana. Okay, you're on Facebook as well. Yep, yep. Okay, Nick Two Row. All right, guys, by the time this video gets published, Salt Bayou Campground will also be on Instagram. Go give them a follow. Give, go give them some love. Jamil, did you learn some stuff? Not only do I want to own RV parks, I, uh, I'd i actually really enjoy living on one. Bro, this is so peaceful. Like, it's quiet. They're, you know, what a nice outside you're living. What a nice way to hang well, out. Well, the weather's good. Let's expand right together, now. man. I'm in it. Let's expand. I'm in it. Like, can we get uh, this RV park to find, to attach to one in, in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> we can expand really far, bro, all the way across. Oh, we can be your resource on moving forward. Get it. You know. Yep. Amazing. Guys, Um, give us some love. Subscribe. Make sure you go give Nick some love. He's also potentially looking for more deals go watch the video that jamil made about wholesaling deals to buyers like nick connect with nick tell nick hey i'm gonna start looking in this area within 20 30 miles whatever his buy box is he'll tell you but start a relationship with him if i was nick i'd be looking for private money lenders are you no that's why I talk he's got a, he, he has a private money lender it's called his bank he has a great relationship with us. your money. That's how much money this thing make. But he he wants to do deals with y'all, all right? And he wants to be a good resource. He's a good old boy. You can tell he's just a guy that wants to help out and love on people. And so, guys, thank you so much for taking this journey with us. We learned a lot today. Jim, bro, you freaking crushed this. Yeah. Man, Maddie, you're the best. Zach, we'll put your information in, in the comments below so people can reach out to you as well. Zach uh, did a lot of work. He's sitting here holding this camera this whole entire time. We'll see you guys in the next video.